you're always heavy in with the draft and the draft prospects and whatnot. And I probably have the most unpopular opinion on the subject, to be honest with you. But my opinion is my opinion. You know, I truly believe that Fields has done enough to earn at least every start through his rookie contract. It does not mean that you can't have a quarterback behind him. I would totally not be opposed to dropping back and still getting a top 10 draft pick and taking a quarterback. And then I would take that quarterback and I'd sit him and I'd let Justin Fields try and play out his fourth year. You know, I think that would be a win, win, win. You still get a trade back. You still get a new quarterback and you still give Justin Fields an opportunity to play. However, like I said, it's probably the most unpopular opinion right now. People hate it. I did more work on Caleb Williams and there is a lot to be excited about from him. He makes sure to set his feet really fast before he throws. He never makes a stupid Aaron throw because of that. And he does get away from the sack really well. They anticipate him beating 4-6 at the combine. So he's still going to be a fast quarterback, not as fast as Justin Fields. But his escapability is still there. Not as escapable as Justin Fields, okay? But he always places the ball on the numbers, even when he's on the run. The consistency that he puts it right on the receiver's chest so that they can just catch the ball and run, that that is important in and of itself. He does get the ball to all three levels. He does check his reads extremely fast. Basically, a lot of things Justin Fields doesn't has not demonstrated so far. Justin Fields' flaws, we don't know how many percent of it is on Justin Fields and how many percent of it is on Luke Getze and the Bears developing him, but it's there in year three still, okay? And it was there at the beginning of year three. And I was like, geez, I hope they fix this this year. And then at the end of year three, there were still some plays. Justin Fields was just looking downfield and not being able to pull the trigger on a throw. But I've seen enough plays where there's an open receiver that Justin Fields just doesn't see them. I've gone through the A22 for every single game this last year, just from putting video together and whatnot. I don't want to say I've studied it per se, but I've seen it all multiple times. There's plenty of examples where, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, the O-line, the O-line, the O-line, he's getting sacked. Well, you know, there's a lot of avoidable sacks. A lot of times where he drops back and it even looks like he wants to pull the trigger and doesn't. And now it's chaos backyard football time sometimes that ends up with a positive play we saw way more of those positive plays in 2022 than we saw in 2023 but sometimes it ends up with a negative play sometimes it ends up with a fumble or a sack i i keep kind of going back to this comment that i said where i didn't think his floor would still be this low you know what are we hoping here for what are we holding on to here and at the end of the day you got to pay him next year he's gotten sacked 130 times in two and a half years um which is another part of it too you know, Andrew Luck couldn't survive this league. He's on pace to double it. And I know at the beginning of the year, during the offseason last year, at least through mine and David's conversations, our idea was, well, okay, say it does fail or say, you know, he, you don't want to be stuck in the middle here. You could use the middle as a stepping stone, right? But say he does fail or say he's just average enough to where you're still scratching your head and questioning it. You have two first round picks. You could package them together and trade up to get whatever quarterback you want. Well, look at this. Now, number one literally fell into our lap. It's such a unique position to where you don't even have to do that. You could still take the best quarterback out there if you want, and you still have your number nine pick. You know what I mean? And that's really, really enticing, I think. The sentimental guy in me wants to keep Justin Fields, but we're in a business, man. And there's a clock on the contract situation, and I think it's time. I think it's time to get Caleb Williams. This is our shot. 